Sentinels of Freedom really started as an honoring program uh, to honor young men and women who were leaving our high schools uh, at the end of four years and had joined the service. When 9-11 happened, we went to a little um, more different approach, and that was to honor anyone in the military as they came home at any time. As a result of a couple of young men getting uh, injured and wounded, one of them my son, uh, I developed the concept that we needed to try and provide a more comprehensive package for the individuals as they came home. Uh, something that a community could do and not totally depend on the Veterans Administration or the government. Something that would be our, considered our responsibility. It is just unbelievable what happens when they get critically wounded. Uh, the military tries to take care of its own and the, the uh, VA is fabulous, but once they walk out with a total disability, uh, even though they still have medical care available to them, uh, they're just out the door. Many of them are fortunate enough to have family and friends and uh, a good network of people that are gonna help them get back uh, and have whatever quality of a life they can have. Some of them do not have that. When I heard about Sentinels of Freedom, I thought, if they could do what they have done on such a limited scale, why couldn't REMAX throw some of our resources into it? Uh, be a primary sponsor, not uh, the only sponsor. And with the resources we have, such as the REMAX satellite network, the filming ability, uh, the ability to uh, uh, build training materials on how other brokers could do the same thing this individual did on a grassroots effort, it made all the sense in the world.